okay guys so this is actually a follow-up video okay talking about the last video that i did on ihs where i talked about the argument that they had you know in the house of Commons. i'm actually here to give you updates on the you know the recent developments what they have actually decided on after that meeting as the meeting they had on the 10th of january 2024 okay so if this interests you please stay tuned try and watch this video to the end do not skip any bit of it trust me you will enjoy everything about this video My name is Blessing Emozozo of Blessed Blessing Channel. Okay, on this channel, I film content on how you can migrate to the UK, live generally in the UK, anything that has to do with the UK, with like new immigration changes like this. Okay, how to get sponsor visa to come over to the UK to work. You know, the companies that are recruiting, the right time for you to apply so you'll be able to get those jobs. This and many more are exactly what we share on this platform. So if this sounds very interesting to you guys, please do well to, you know, to subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I'm uploading new videos. My returning subscribers, thank you guys for coming back to watch my videos. I sincerely appreciate you guys. Like you guys are just the best. Yeah. Thank you guys once again. Yeah. Just like I said, on today's video, I just want to share with you, yeah, the recent development, like the outcome of the meeting that they had on the 10th of January 2024. That's what they have decided to do with this IHS fee increment, okay? Yeah, it's not actually a very good one. I tell you, I'm being honest with you. It's not actually a very good one because you discover that after that argument, most of us actually had our heads up, okay? Thinking that, okay, that since the House of Commons have actually brought out some of this, okay, probably the Home Office we definitely sit down and kind of give consideration. Yeah, even if they are not reducing it, but at least to some point, like for the fact that it's not everybody that comes to the UK actually visits the hospital that enjoys these services. Okay. So all those points actually made us to think that, oh, obviously, or maybe they would just have to think twice or do some reviews about it. But guys, it's not really a good one, like I said. Though it depends on the, you know, the angle you are looking at it from, okay? Yeah, but I believe that so immigrant that wants to come over to the UK is not really a good one, yeah? Because as you can see on your screen, we actually have this article that I'm here to review on today's video. Please, as you're watching this video, try to share this to people that you think may benefit from it, yeah? People that you think actually need this information, guys, try and give them some of this information share this video to them so that they would you know they can have it handy so i just want to give an overview of the situation just for you to understand what is actually happening or what this would see entails okay as you can see on your screen guys yeah it says ihs fee sets to increase by 66 percent on the 6th of february 2024 yeah on the 13th October 2023, the government, that's the UK government, announced a substantial 66% increase in immigration head subcharge, which is IHS, okay? A delegated legislature committee of the House of Commons, okay, approved the immigration head charge amendment order 2023 on the 16th January 2024. This is the 6% increase in the immigration health subcharge IHS fee that was announced by the government in July of last year will be implemented on the 6th February 2024. The immigration health charge amendment order 2024 was approved by the parliament on Tuesday and was published in the early hours of this morning. This article was actually published on the 18th January 2024. Okay. The subcharge will be increased from £624 to £1,035 per person per year for adults and from £470 to £776 per person per year for children under 18 students and their dependents applicants for the youth mobility scheme okay it was initially expected that the increase would take effect on the 16th of january as that was the earliest date given in the draft order published last october house of common literally deliberated on this last month yeah and the increase would be debated on the house of common on the 10th of january meaning that it could not come into force on january 16 as initially planned okay because of the meeting that was supposed to hold on the 10th of january so they could not just implement it without 
the house of common coming together to deliberate on this okay so after they had their deliberation on the 10th of january they just came to the conclusion that yes they are not going to reduce it we actually expected that the fees was going to be reduced judging from the you know the points that the house of commons you know actually brought out on that day the, the debate that they had and all that and also considering the fact that so many people are already complaining that it's not going to give uk a very good position when compared to to you know other countries that's talking about people choosing to come over to the uk to either work or study and also for the fact that some of the universities are already complaining that they did not actually have many students coming to enroll for different courses okay so this actually made some persons feel that after these de deliberations are in the house of commons that definitely they will come to make some decisions that will favor immigrants okay if not really reducing it but at least they should do some things or they should give some preference to some certain people okay but unfortunately guys it did not turn out that way because it stands the way they they actually planned it to be okay because as i just read that for you guys you could see that the increment of 66 percent still remains okay so that's to say that effect from the 6th of february any adults coming to the uk to work or to study okay coming to stay here for more than six months you will definitely pay for ihs fee alongside your visa application that is how it's been okay but now instead of you paying 624 pounds as you used to now you'll be made to pay 1035 pounds okay that's effect from the 6th of february 2024 and for students not just students children students their dependents and you know people coming through youth mobility schemes okay they would rather pay 776 pounds per person instead of the amount that used to be before which was 470 pounds so the increment still stands okay it's just that it's going to take effect from you know from the 6th february 2024 so guys this is another opportunity but guys before then before i talk about the opportunity there you discover that many people I think I had a discussion with some persons here in the UK. It's when I had a discussion with this person, I got to realize that it's not actually everybody that comes here to work as a carer that really wants to be a carer. We have other people that would rather want to be like, they have qualifications, they have good qualifications. Ordinarily, they would have gone into other sectors, okay? That's talking about some professions, okay? But then they chose health and care sector because because of that waiver okay that's not being eligible to pay ihs fee when you come as a carer or you know yeah on health and care visa okay so that actually made me to have some personal thoughts on my mind i was not like okay if these people could have just come out and do some little wave my own personal opinion okay if these people could just you know come outside and then kind of have a little rethink and said okay maybe some persons in these categories we can as well waive that for them okay but guys like i always tell you as individuals we can't really talk much on this because they have actually put in some things in place they have done some research they have done some you know their statistics and they got to realize that okay for this health care sector to be able to function properly they actually need people to come in and of course to pay for ihs fee okay because of course medication and all that are not supposed to be free yeah but then another point or another place that is actually giving some immigrants some concerns is this part that the you know the prime minister said if you remember when he made when he came out to make this announcement he said that they want to increase ihs fee so they will be able to fund some sectors so they will be able to pay workers to pay police to pay other sectors that actually need money according to him they don't really have other places to get this money if not from people coming in that's from migrants that are coming over to the uk the reason why they have to increase this ihs fee in the first place so most migrants have actually had this in mind yeah you can leave your thoughts on the comment section but then if they had said that increasing this because because they got to realize that the cost of living in uk is getting high and inflection and all that you know the cost of financing the healthcare sector is actually high okay the more reason why people have to come out to pay of course to access these facilities because it's not supposed to be free i think if he had 
brought out that i don't think there will be much you know all this on the air my own opinion guys you can still leave your own opinion there okay so that is just it but outside this i feel that of course we don't expect them to you know to let anybody that come into the uk just access free healthcare and all that but another point that was actually giving some persons concerns is also for people that have not gone to the uk because i remember when i made that video i think i had some couple of person came to me and said oh blessing do you know that i've been in the uk for the past two years for the past one year and i've not really had cause to you know to visit the hospital okay there is another line paragraph here that i want to read out so you can see what the government have to say about that okay. as the equality impact assessment is plains the ihs is set at a fixed amount which takes no account of an individual's usage okay the charge is based on how much health care an average health charge payer is expected to use and not directly linked to the healthcare usage of each individual payee. So guys, you can say this is what they have to say about the point that the House of Commons brought out. Guys, you can say it. So that is how they are saying it. Immediately I got this news, I thought it's wise for me to let my people know. Like I told you guys, please try as much as possible to share this video so that other people can benefit from it. And if you enjoyed this video to this point, I know it's not really a good news, but for us to continue bringing up all this for you, guys of course we want you to be informed to keep you guys informed try as much as possible to share and like this video give this video some thumbs up i'll be right there waiting for you at the comment section thank you again for watching and i remain blessing a muzuzu of blessed blessing channels thank you